Hello and welcome to the Eduonics Neo4j Graph Database course. In this video, I'm going to just give a brief introduction to the course as well as myself. So my name is Brad Traversy and I'll be your instructor for this course. Uh, I've been in web development for 12 years or so. Uh, four of those years I've been teaching technology and web development courses. Uh, I specialize in JavaScript as well as server-side web development with languages like PHP and database administration. I have many other courses available at eduonics.com if you want to check those out as well. All right, so this course focuses on graph databases and in particular Neo4j. So we'll talk about graph databases in general and we'll look at some of the advantages over using a traditional relational database with tables and rows. Then we'll move on to Neo4j specifically. We'll get that set up uh, and we'll start to work with the Cypher query language, which is the core language for interacting with Neo4j. Then we'll take a look at the official and the contributed language drivers that are available. We'll be building an application using Node.js JavaScript along with the Neo4j JavaScript driver. All right, so we're going to look extensively at the graph data model, which is what Neo4j uses. We'll compare it to a relational data model and look at some of the advantages and even some of the disadvantages. And we're going to go in depth on certain aspects of the graph data model like nodes, uh, which basically represent entities of data, relationships, which is how nodes relate to each other, properties, which are attributes of nodes and relationships, and then labels, which we can use to separate different types of nodes. Okay, so here are the course details. We have five sections. Each section will have four to seven lectures, and then each lecture will have a video. It'll have a quiz and any project files that go with that video. So here's a, a very brief overview of the course sections. We have section one, which will be an intro to graph databases. We'll talk about what they are, their advantages, the graph data model, and so on. Section two, we'll get started with Neo4j. We'll talk about what it is. We'll get Neo4j installed on Windows as well as Linux, and we'll start to work with Neo4j browser. Section three, we'll go in depth into Neo4j browser as well as the Cypher query language. We'll start to create nodes and relationships, and we'll look at visual representations through the browser. Section four, we're going to cover some of the other cipher queries and clauses, things like lists, the with statement, conditionals, and some other things to help query the database. Section five, we're going to dedicate to our social client application. We're basically going to build uh, a Node.js or JavaScript application that allows us to create nodes and relationships, add properties, things like that. All right, so that's a really brief overview of the course. I really hope you enjoy it, and I will see you in the next video.